Normally this is where your water heater would be located and as you can see it takes up a lot of room. You could be using this for a closet or even just normal simple storage space. Plus water heaters run all night long. While you're asleep you don't need hot water but yet you're still paying to heat water. In the next generation of homes you don't need this much space to heat water. Plus you save money every month because you only heat the water when you need the water. Let's go take a look. With the latest technology and in instantaneous water heaters, you can actually install them anywhere in the home. Since this home's under construction, we decided to go to the garage. It'd be out of the way. And like I said, it's not very large. It's small enough you can actually pick it up, which I can't do with most water heaters, and Stan's with us today to answer a few questions about how it actually operates. And Stan, uh, how do you get the cover off to begin with? Oh, pretty simple here. You just pop it right off. I've already removed the screws, of course. So. Okay. Now I've built hundreds of homes and I've never installed one of these so tell me how it works. What okay. happens here? I see water in and water out but what happens in between? Okay, the, the principle is really pretty simple. Uh, the water comes in here, uh, flows through these chambers, each of which have a, a heating element in it which is a standard configuration, although we do use copper for ours because it's more corrosion resistant. Uh, the unit detects flow by temperature change. Uh, when flow occurs it adds power to the elements uh, constantly adjusting itself. It measures the temperature at five points through the heater. Uh, it feeds equal amounts of power to all of the elements and regulates that to flow and, and temperature change. Okay, so it knows when water is actually moving through because of the different temperatures and it'll just instantly start yes. heating it up. Yes. Okay, now you don't have a storage tank on this no. <laughs> like you would on a conventional water heater. How long does it take to heat up the water to where if you turn on a faucet you know you're going to have hot water? At initial startup it, it just takes a, a just a few seconds, as long as it takes the water to get from here through the unit and then out. I can wait a few seconds. Yeah. Then, how about on cost of operation compared to a conventional water heater? Uh, over a, an electric tank heater, uh, we've got studies that show a minimum of 26 percent savings. 26 percent. Yes. So you save a lot, and that's because you're not heating the water Constantly. all night and all yes. day, right. even when you're not using it. How about if you live in an area that has hard water? Are you going to have any sediment build up on the bottom here? No, that is a problem is when the water is stored in a tank and heated and then the calcium precipitates out. With ours, the only time uh, the elements are on is when there's flow through the heater and there are no screens or, or moving parts to obstruct that flow. So since the water's not being stored there, the sediment's not Correct. falling out. Yeah. How about if you have a water well? Maybe you have some dirt or sand in your well instead of city water. Okay, in that case, uh, occasionally you may have to pull these bottom plates out and which just open ends the cylinders and Put them back on again. With the water moving through there, through these four chambers, and you're heating it as it goes, how efficient is it really? I mean, can you heat the water fast enough? Oh, yes. It's rated at 99.3% efficient. <laughs> I would say that's so, pretty efficient, yeah. yeah. And then how about uh, when you're taking a shower, since you don't have a storage tank and you haven't built up a lot of gallons of hot water, you know, right. normally 30, 40, 50. Mm -hmm. I mean, have you got enough to take a shower? Oh yeah, when you turn the a fixture on and, and it comes up to temperature at any given flow, you can come back a week later and it'll still be the same temperature. Still running there? Yeah. And then how many gallons per minute will this heat up? Uh, typically three gallons a minute at 120 degrees and then it'll begin to drop off in temperature above that. And if you're taking a shower, how many gallons of water are you using? Typical showers, two, two and a half gallons a minute mixed hot and cold. So we shouldn't run out? No, no, okay. absolutely not. Well, I see you've got your water in and your water out right here, yes. so why don't we go ahead and put the cover back on it okay. and install it. The water heater is simple to mount on any wall in the house. Only four screws hold the unit to the wall. The tankless water heater can fit under the kitchen sink, in a bathroom, or even in a closet. Anywhere you place the unit, you'll want to hire a licensed electrician and plumber to install the heater. This tankless water heater supplies an endless amount of hot water. It's safe with no flame or lethal gases found in some gas water heaters. Plus, there's no moving parts to wear out, and most of all, it'll save you energy dollars. Okay, well, it looks like you've got our water lines hooked up to the unit, and our electrician's got the power hooked up, so we need to go turn that on. And... The sound of the beeps tells us the power is on, and it's ready to go. So let's just slide the cover on here. Okay. What type of meter have you got hooked up here? This is just a temperature probe okay. uh, hooked up to the sink so we can see the temperature rise. Starting at 87. Uh -huh. Wow, 110, 111 already. Now this is a short distance to flow, but I mean that is heating water quickly. Yes it is. Stan, 
124 degrees. I think that works. That's hotter than most showers. Yes, it is.